in an old house in Paris. It was covered with lion, ma, vines. vines. The twelve little girls on two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bed and brushed their teeth and went to bed. Oh, you know it. Yes, you do. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or in shine. She loved how uh, the smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. Later, Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after, Dr. Kahn came, he rushed out to the phone. Probably cold, but anyway. Oops. Uh, he, and he dialed Danton 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. An appendix? An appendix. Just like you. Huh? Just like you. Imagine that. Imagine that. Everybody had to cry and not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket safe and warm. In a car with a red light they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two, uh, woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. I'm having a little bit of crampy. Mm. Uh, Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed there was a crank. You don't and have a crank in the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Not so much. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One this morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? You memorized this book. I'd read it before. Yes, I think you have yeah, to your Maybe daughters. to the kids, I don't mm -hmm. know. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face and some flowers in a vase. Then they walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dolls from the front. But the biggest surprise by far, on her stomach was a scar. Uh -huh. <laughs> Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girl left in the rain. She went home and broke her bread and brushed her teeth and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran faster and faster. And she said, please children do, tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried boo-hoo, we want to have our opinions out too. Good night little girls, thank the Lord you are well, and now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. She turned out the light and closed the door, and that's all there is, there isn't any more. So, you get a, a different impression on that, that guy that looks spooky down there. Yeah. So, so the book has a whole different meaning now, does mm. it? Huh? Yeah, I thought so.